Today, we're gonna be making the New Englander, which some people would argue is something like a Cape Codder or something like a Cosmo. Cosmo. It's a little bit like both. A little bit like both. Which are, they're kind of related anyway, in the same family of drinks. One's mom, one's dad. Yeah. Or maybe it's some sort of weird. Get some side conversation about seltzer, and uh, I think I space out for a little bit. <laughs> Who knows? We'll figure it out. Keep watching! Help fund the Common Man Cocktails bar mat. We need to sell 50 to fund the project. Head over to awesomedrinks.com slash mat. Buy your mat, support the project, and be awesome. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Sharp. Go me, Ian Andrews. The infamous nipple pitcher. For those of you who want to live Infamous yes. nipple pitcher. Uh, you can always check out the... I don't even have to tell you what a live stream is. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we are creating the New Englander. This recipe is a recipe from Frutations. I, it, I think it's just that. Is, it, is this a main company? Home? No, where, where are they from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Nantucket, I think. Their drink was so long you could drink it. Lynn. Lynn! Lynn. There was a man Lynn, from Lynn, Lynn. Lynn. In. Wait, Never no. come out the way you went in. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, this is a local company right, right, using Boston, local right, right, cranberries, right, right. which is really tough because I can't find those anymore. They must have like... Local cranberries? The, they're not out in the store right uh, now. Well, I'm, I'm sure they have a source. The, uh, the source. person that built the cocktails for the company, too, is a personal friend. Uh, so one is, of the bartenders over at the Oak Room in downtown Boston. Who's your personal friend of? Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the so, person. some person yeah. to make Sorry. to make Drunk things. Shout out to the Oak Room. So a shout out to the Oak Room. The this is called Fruitations. It there's smells three of really them. good. There's cranberry. There's tangerine and there's grapefruit and they're all up in your fridge i saw them yeah i have them all yeah those are our, so these are our samples we now sell them i was sampling to see if they were worth purchasing and so i did um this is uh fertitious designed for pairing with shake up spirits craft your soda so if you were making a soda which is we have soda water for this i could put this back so we get the camera right we're going to be creating a cocktail that has an ounce of fruit 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 fruitation cranberry an ounce and a half of vodka um seltzer float uh, a little bit of, uh, of fruit. We're going to do, garnish. what is this? This is just for garnish, really, right? Yeah. Why do I have a cutting board for a garnish? I don't know. I, I could have used the, this thing. I just saw a lime and figured cutting board. I'll make a garnish for it. And that's really it. The beauty of Frutations is you just kind of add soda this water. This is a pour over ice also. Do we want to put one cube of ice in there? Shake Frutations and vodka, but yes. Oh, yeah. This, what am I not doing here that I should be doing? You, know, you want me to get you a, uh, I can get you a uh, shaker. The stuff that I just grabbed? Yep. Do you want to put some ice in there? No. You're more of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep being a dick then. <laughs> and pretty soon I'm gonna pull out my dick. <laughs> oh no! This shit's gonna get real. <laughs> it's gonna get real nasty! I like to think it's real nasty, but he doesn't I mean, he doesn't shave and he doesn't shower, so you figure out the math. What? I don't know. You're you gonna oh, I shave people. <laughs> don't let me <laughs> as bald oh. as uh, he, it, that's why we call him the magic 13 year old. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I screwed up. I only put an ounce of vodka in there. That's all you want, right? No, an ounce and a half. You want an ounce and a half of vodka, which I said that. You did, dick. But that's what I said. I know. Um, I'll show you. <laughs> so, this is kind of, I guess you call this a mixture, but it's a real mixer, so you don't, you don't want to, like, you know, leave this out because it doesn't have anything in it to keep it. Stable. You want to this shit Water. Cranberry. <laughs> and as. Where's that strainer? Oh, it's dirty. The dirty strainer? Yeah. Who strained up? <laughs> that the sounds like a sex move. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty strain rate. Somebody make an urban dictionary entry, right? The dirty strain. Wait, the dirty, the dirty strain, strain rate. Why do we have a feeling I'm going to end up in that? The, the dirty yeah. strain rate. It's going to invert. That's what the curve Involve does. a bald Muppet baby guy <laughs> <laughs> standing behind you with a strain ray. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to wait for you to pop, and then something's going to happen. Uh, I invented it. There we go. Thanks. Done. Done. So <laughs> there you go. Sanchez, but much more tall. But with a third person. Yeah. That's Look at what that. the camera is. I like the color of it. It looks like the color of that, only a little bit Wait, lighter. Is that good for the camera? Yeah, I don't know. I can't see the camera from here. Oh, oh my god, guys! Wow, you guys made a cosmopolitan without. This is a Cosmo without a uh, triple sec. Yeah. And it's using regular vodka Quantreau. instead of citrus vodka, which. Right. Believe Cosmo it or not, calls for. a Cosmo calls for citrus so vodka, not regular vodka. Potter? And 90% of the Cosmos that you get 
every place does use rainbow. Vodka and cranberry juice isn't that a Cape, Cape Cod or soda? Cape yeah, it can be a Cape, Cape Cod. Cape Cod, I thought it's just cranberry it's, and yeah, cranberry vodka. vodka. There's a it's, right. so it's like an so ounce and a half, half of vodka, four this to is six probably, ounces of cranberry juice. Right. Especially when you're on your period. All right, and what? <laughs> UTI. UTI. This Universal Technical Institute. Yes. <laughs> what? You know. Urinary tract infection. I'll spell it out for you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I can think of is that, that scene in um, the Leonardo DiCaprio South Boston gangster movie where he like, the pinky? order the cranberry. Oh, yeah, it's uh, the potted. The yeah. potted. The potted? The potted. Oh, look, I cut way too deep into that flesh. That's why. <laughs> sing, sing, sing. Mm. It's got tartness. The cran so, wow, that's a good cranberry flavor. Because it's actually cranberry yeah. and cane sugar. And it's balanced as opposed to buying is, ocean spray. Which is a sugary cocktail Which is a juice. cranberry cocktail juice. This yeah. retains a little bit more of the tartness. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it's... I'm going to try this. You can, you can, yeah, it, it makes killer Cosmos. It just this does? Oh, yeah. Like, big oh, you mean like making an actual Cosmo and using that instead of cranberry, that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah, okay. If you want to make a good Cosmo, simple drink, um, use something this like this. Like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, big time. Right. It tastes oh, like cranberry it's... sauce from the. Uh, oh, like the, you, you know the ocean spray cranberry sauce you get. The yeah, the cranberry. Uh, the, yeah. the one in the can where you put it out. It's like a jelly can. roll that. Just Which is awesome. I love can. that stuff. It's yeah. so good. I like the real stuff too, but that stuff is so good. No, I don't like the real stuff actually. I, like I, stuff. I wish I did because it seems like I should. Mm. I like the real cranberry sauce. Is that what you're talking I about? Yeah, I prefer like, like really stuff. loaded on Sundays and just go out to a bog and like just put my face into the. He puts his face in cranberry bogs. The other thing you could do with your garnish if you're watching. So I tried that with a truck. I saw it on the news. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Frozen yes. cranberry bog. <laughs> that, yeah, that was Kurt. So, <laughs> that Kurt. was when he was putting his face That's in Kurt the on the weekends. <laughs> he put his face in his truck. In hey, do you want, Before you Derek, garnish, do you, you want can rub this down. From kind of a new bartender trick that we've been doing lately. Well, what's your new bartender trick, Kurt? Um, you don't, don't do this? Don't rub the outside yeah, with you, the um, oils. Why don't you do the outside? Okay. The you, reason. Because I mean, that's the first thing that hit your tongue and it's going to be tart? No, no, no. This works twofold. You have a big cocktail party, right? And you have this really fancy meal that, like, your wife has just cooked for everybody. Right. And you hand them a glass, and the outside of the rim has the oil on it. What's the one thing you're going to touch with the outside of the rim? You're going to, you're inside of your fingers. Oh, right? like if you go to hand it to somebody like this? Well, no, you were going to do it, but they're going to also hold it like that, also. So what ends up happening is those oils stay on their hand. So when they go to have their fancy, their fancy meal, they're going to have the oils from the that on there, and it's going to mess up the taste of the food. So it's an aesthetic. It's more than aesthetic. So if you want to. Rub the oils on so the inside this. of the glass. You rub the inside of the glass, like not this. the outside. So you go like that right. to keep it off people's hands. Exactly. But if you're going to rim it with something. And then you can just dump. Well, you know, that's it, different because you're not grabbing the, you know, like the, you're the, the margarita sugar margarita rim or whatever. Rim it, then they know what they're getting to begin with. But the but if you're next just doing big it thing that's happening now is, is that sea salt is also not going on the rim. No sea salt. But they added in. into the cocktail itself. Oh, that drives me crazy. Well, we, well, we learned about salt yeah, and salt bitters and, and everything. No, I know. Because in, uh, if you there's a difference. If you add sea salt or you add salt from your margarita into your drink, you're doing it on purpose and you're doing it with a specific dosage. What they do at like a restaurant is when they, oh. they, they put the sticky stuff the on the inside it. and the outside. The minute you put it in, it starts to slide down in your drink and you get this like pile of salt at the end which is nasty and then if they give you a straw or anything else or you get to the end of it you just eat this big sh shovel of salt and you're like that's the most disgusting thing i've ever put in my mouth yeah yeah i'm talking about anything like that, that is now i'm dying of high blood pressure right yeah this is really easy. and i have a little ocean in my mouth mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. um, i'm getting, getting a lot of love for the canned cranberry sauce people are gonna like this this is like but it doesn't taste like cran canned cranberry <laughs> sauce just let you know where to slice exactly they're just yes <laughs> um this is simple and easy to drink. So, not very so complex, easy. So easy, but it's yeah. got a sweet tart to it. That's which pretty much all that's in it. I don't taste vodka. You put vodka, you did put vodka in there. Oh, you know, did you top it with that? I did. Oh, it's still pretty. You, what, you want more? Yeah. You can add more. Might water it down a little bit. Next I time like that I come, sweet tart. We're going to have a nice long conversation about seltzers. What, you don't like this one? It's freaking water, Kurt. It's like vodka. Don't be a prude. And it's all we can get. Curds a snob. Well, stay tuned for something in carbonation in the future. Cool. That's what it comes down to. Well, I'll have a carbon. I have all the stuff to make a carbonator. Um, go get yourself some fruitations because, and you have to keep it in the refrigerator, which is, if you have a wife like mine, it could make her angry if you start filling in the refrigerator with these things. But you just buy a couple of them and I'll open them slowly. Um, 
easy to make, better than putting cranberry juice into your drink. You can use it the same way. Works great if you just want to have a cranberry seltzer. Mm. Use your favorite seltzer it's, with it's some flavor. fruitations, like a one to three, one to four Fuck ratio, or whatever you like. He, he apparently likes more a little carbonation to it. I like the sweet tart combo of a less carbonation, but either way, it's easy to change. Um, Absolutely. That's our, that's oh, good. the other pitch, if you want to help us invest in our, our mats, it's so awesomedrinks.com slash Matt. I think I'm going to put ads in the beginning of these just to kind of you should. push that. So They look really good, too. So Yeah, they're better. I mean, the ads are only going to be relevant until you buy the mold. That's true. And then they're going to be outdated. Oh, whatever. But oh, whatever. Screw those the ads, whatever. Yeah. That's it. Question of the day. What is Jennifer? What am I? No, what is she going to She's your wife. <laughs> I am one She's, of I'm, she's the mother of her children. Waiting. I'm waiting for the she's rest many of the things. female. <laughs> what? what <laughs> No, not who yes, are you? Yes, I am. What is dot dot dot? Jennifer, prompt me. Give me my question of the day. I don't. That is your role right now as producer of Common Man Cocktails. Do it. Your chat room is slacking. Chat room is slacking. Thanks, guys. I don't have a question today. Question of the day. Uh, um, uh, what's your favorite style of garnish? Do you like the the thin? What do they call it? Do you pieces? like the curls? Do you like the pieces? Yeah, like, like a a, a twist. Like flag them. Like a flag. A flag them. Flag them? A flag and a flag. Do you just put cherries in everything? What do you guys think? Tell me how you like to carve your favorite garnish. Some people I've seen, that they'll like do the striations, and they'll cut that out, and they'll make decorations. So you have a wedge of lime with all these cool little decorations. That's pretty cool. So Some people I, get pretty elaborate. I'm not elaborate. I'm a simple, I'm a common man. That's right. So I just do things by cutting things with knives. That's all you get, right but there. That's all that's you it. need. Sometimes you can flame it, sometimes not. <laughs> we'll be flaming Flames. later. Wait, everybody already thinks we're gay. Do you like rimming? <laughs> hey, what? Do you like rimming? Do you Giving like or rimming? Receiving. Question of the day. I don't know if that's a question for this type of show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to rim your glass with anything? I feel like that was a video game. Tell us. We're not everyday drinkers. We're teaching you how to drink. This is this is awesome. That's not bad either. Dude. This, it looks really like it's a... It's got a gradient coloring scheme to it because the syrup kind of settled, but it kind of... Are you supposed to mix it or...? It says building glass. Yeah, and drizzle. Put that last. That's syrup.